Hello everybody, this is a Lamley unboxing. I have the next two Amazon black boxes from Hot Wheels. These are the first appearance model boxes. If you remember from the first video we did using the uh, A case black box. Well, I now have the B and the C case black boxes sent to me directly from Mattel, hence why they've been cut open already. Um, I have heard from many of you that the A case black boxes are appearing now. Those of you who purchased them uh, when we first did the, uh, when we first, when Hot Wheels announced the black boxes are starting to get your shipments of the A case black box, right? And several of you have mentioned that you are pulling the uh, Batmobile Super Treasure Hunt from your A case black box. So it's not just a uh, lip service. Those supers are in there and uh, you might be lucky. I mean, obviously I think the chances are exactly the same, but the good thing is you have to buy 16 models, not a 72 count case. So I have the B and, key, B and C cases, and I figured if I'm gonna keep getting these from Mattel early, I've already done the B case unboxing, I've done a C case unboxing, D case unboxing is coming up soon. Um, we can use these to do the highlights, right? Because essentially those models that are new are the highlights. So let's open up the B case. Like I said, yours, when you buy it from Amazon, will come sealed with two stickers right here. This one, because it's early and came from Mattel, was already cut open and inspected. But uh, let's just open it up and see what is inside. These are very quick unboxings, right? It's more about the models that we feature. And the first one is the 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. I think we'll open that one up. 2023 Nissan Z in blue, we'll open that one up. The Nissan Maxima drift car, I think we need to open that one up. We know their first to this case is in the Roger Dodger. I'll put that one off to the side. It's cool, but uh, for Lamley's purposes. Uh, Dodge Van is very cool. Skate Grom. Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Trees. I love this casting. We'll definitely get that one. Here's the Custom 11 Camaro. Uh, 1980 El Camino in blue. That one is kind of cool. Let's open that one up. Rally Special in black. Uh, we already showed this one when I did the sneak peek new model, so we'll do we'll not we'll pass this one. It's the Volvo P1800 Gasser, which is very cool. All the new models I think we showed at least license, and then the Mercedes Benz 300 SL. I got to open up one of those for my super collection, and then lastly, well obviously we didn't pull the super in this case. Uh, the standard cart, put that over here. 1984 Mustang SVO, that's very cool, but we've seen that one. Baja Holler is cool, and then the Corvette C7 Z06 convertible. So I don't see the treasure hunt, right? Am I correct in that? We didn't pull the, suit, the regular treasure hunt from this. So I don't know if there's any guarantee that you're gonna get the regular treasure hunt, but you will get first appearance cars, and if there's more than 16, obviously, maybe not all of them. But uh, there's a really good chance, you know, if, if there's a super, you can pull it, right? So let's move that one out of the way. Let's just open these up really quickly, starting with the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. You know, I always keep the super and the regular together in the collection. But let's open up this, uh, this one real quick. Just put it on the turntable really quickly. Actually, the super on this is really nice. I have it. Probably could have compared them without... There's the Super Treasure on anything is Spectre Flame Red. I know there's a lot of red, but that's a very nice Super. But I have to say, as far as like, you know, really Supers go, sometimes they're just so much better than the regular. But this one with the red aero style wheels is really cool. I think it looks really, really nice. Kind of has a look of that Jay Leno. It has that kind of look. It's a really nice casting, basic version of the premium. So anyway, that goes in the collection. Let's take a look at this El Camino because it looks cool. This casting hasn't been used in a while. In blue with the uh, silver two-tone uh, down below it has the cool classic wheels. I don't know what they're calling these. I guess you could call them mag wheels. But that's a nice, you know, kind of, what year is this El Camino? 1980, yeah. You know, kind of a more updated El Camino. We're so used to the previous generation, but I think that one is cool. Love the Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. Long name, cool car. And... Uh, it was Lindsay, who no longer is at Hot Wheels, but she's the one who designed this one, and I thought it was really well done. Um, that first version still in that kind of gray color is still my favorite, but this one's super clean. It's nice because they've included the, well, is that the, yeah, I think the windows are incorporated into the headlights, or the headlights incorporated into the window piece. And then you see that allows for the, uh, 
the rear to be tampoed as well. That's super clean. This will be a store exclusive. I actually will show that soon. Um, Nissan Maxima drift car. All of you have seen these. I'm just doing this for my own sake. I mean, I haven't opened these up. I think this one's awesome. The first version was cool. This one's nice and clean. Very Japanese in its styling, of course. Three spokes are just awesome. I'm glad that it's gotten three spokes twice in a row now, right? And we're starting to see those three spokes show up in other places. So we'll keep watching that. 2023 Nissan Z in blue. You know, I'm thinking there were some other first editions in that case that we didn't pull, right? Because there were some, were there some other new models? I'm going to have to figure that out. But here it is in blue. Yellow and white last year. This blue might be the nicest color yet. Premium version was nice too, right? But this blue is super sharp. And as long as this one has front and rear tampos. With these Z cars, I just love it when they do. It's hard to when they don't. And then 2018 Bentley Continental GT3. It'll be gray later. There you go. In green. Nice and clean. So I want to look real quick. I'm going to go over here. Pulling out new models. The Volvo was in there. Maybe the Tesla. So we didn't pull the Tesla. Was that it from... I know I'm standing behind from away from the mic. And I'm looking... Maybe the Tesla could have been in there. So I don't think you're guaranteed every first appearance car. I think the Tesla was a... Well, let's see what's in the C-case because we've got it right here, the C-mix, right? So let's uh, let's move these cards out of the way and let's just open it up. Already open for me so we can just have a look. I think this is a nice way to go. Obviously, there's no... Well, already some nice stuff here. Um, Max Steel... Let's just go for it. Max Steel, Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect. Is this the C case? Yeah. There's nothing on the box that tells you what it is. Um, I know, in fact, I put the link, I should say this, I put the link down below in the description so you can go to the Amazon uh, page where it's being sold and you can buy the case you want and you can actually buy future cases. So once they're out, they'll just be shipped to you automatically. I don't know if there's a subscription system at all, but uh, you can basically buy, I don't know how far in advance it goes but you can buy them. There's the Dior, Diora 3, which is nice, but this is the one. Pagani Zonda R. I haven't opened this one up yet, so that goes in the highlight pile. Doing the unboxing here is, there we go. All right, Twin Duction. I don't know if there's a treasure hunt here. Bone Shaker looks really nice with the white walls. Peanut Butter and Jelly Roller Toaster, and then the Dodge Charger Drift in green. All of those are cool, but I think we'll, we've done a lot of highlights already. Moving on. There's your Copa Camaro. If it were this one, which we pulled from the C case, it would be the Super Treasure Hunt. But I got to open one up, so that's going to go in the highlight pile. Obviously, if you look close, yellow on this one, more of a golden. Of course, the real riders look very different. There's where you can really see the difference. So let's put that in the highlight pile and move the Super over here. Batman Forever Batmobile. Let's check that one out because it's a new Batmobile. Group C Fantasy. We'll move that over here. And then the BMW R9T Racer. Yep, someone told me, and I never noticed, this is the treasure hunt. So we did get it in this case. There's the wording right there, kind of hard to see. And then, there you see that symbol back there. So we'll open that, that's the treasure hunt. And last but not least, well, that shouldn't be in there, right? That says B on it. So... That could be. That could be. I'm going to say this right now because I'll, I'll hold uh, Mattel accountable. That could be that since this was inspected by Mattel, it might be one that wasn't right and they made a correction and then just sent it to me so I could showcase for you. But that should not be in here, right? So I'll point that out to Mattel and uh, let them do what they need to. And then I look. Uh, well, let's pull, pull out. Let's just say the Mazda Savannah RX-7. That's awesome. We'll open that up for sure. Obviously, the Z we don't need to do. Jeep Wagoneer we definitely should look at, and then the Hot Wheels High. So what new models are we missing there? So, well, I don't have here. I'll pull it up. Isn't this a C case? This is from all the sneak peeks. Or is that D? I think that's C. 
So there's a chance we should have seen that one. There's the Tesla, which we didn't see in either one. Those are all the new models, I think. I don't know if there was any others. But um, so, you know what? They send them to me. I show them. We call it like it is, right? So that is what you guys are going to have to tell me. Obviously, the A case, I think, is all the same. But if you get a B and a C case in the future and there's something hold, held over, and clearly that Z is one, that could very well be that when they inspected it, something got replaced, you know, the models came out and then they sent them to me. Let's hope that's the case, but let's also monitor this. I do have the D case one. I'll do that in a separate video after we do the D case unboxing, the case unboxing. Let's see what goes on in the D case when we do that. But that's, hmm, it's a little concerning, right? Well, let's, but let's find out. We'll, we'll hold judgment yet. Let's look at the Jeep Wagoneer. So this is based on the premium that was released in Boulevard to start way back when, about 10 years ago. So now it's moved to basic. It looks nice. Nice deco. I would prefer it as a premium, but that's really nice. I don't know if I'll collect this one, but um, it's okay. I, I, I should say I really like the premium ones, so I should mention that. Um, here's the 89 Mazda Savannah RX-7. Love the color on this one. What have we seen here? We've seen white... There was the yellow in the five pack, right? I think, was there a blue one? I don't remember, maybe a red one. This green with the gold rims is just phenomenal. Great trim on the front and the back. That's really, really nice. Ah, I, you know, I hate when, I, when this happens. I hate when I open up something and see a mistake like that because I know there's a lot of you, including me, that will get skeptical. And I, th I think this is a really cool concept because you can get the first, you know, you can get the first, um, the first appearance cars. I mean, that's a great way of doing it. Having to, if you're having a hard time getting to the store, you have someone who's buying up everything before you get there, all that kind of stuff. I think this is a great way of doing it. Amazon's a great way of using it. But when you see that, that repeat, that's what concerns. So let's, let's please with me, we'll withhold judgment, but let's watch. And if it really happens, we'll talk to Mattel. I'm going to mention this to Mattel, Batman Forever, Batmobile. Sorry. I just, it just, it just frustrates me because there's a lot of conspiracy theorists out there. And I, you obviously know that Hot Wheels, their intention is for this to be a nice product for everyone. And if it doesn't live up to what people want, well, then obviously that's a mistake, right? And they're going to want to change that. They're going to want this to be a good thing. Um, but uh, that Batmobile is kind of cool, although I could care less about it. <laughs> but, you know, I think there has to be some level of understanding. And like I said, this came from Mattel's headquarters, so it could be a mistake. 68 Copa Camaro. But I just get, oh, just get frustrated because everyone will be like, oh, see, they're trying to rip us off. Why would they try and rip you off by putting a B-case car in there? You know, obviously there wasn't like this missing or a super or anything like that. Um, just a mistake. All right, that's cool. It's a cool casting. Um, I do like the super treasure hunt. I do like the art on this one for what it is. Uh, not a card collect, but I will now because it's super treasure and I always keep its counterpart. This is a casting I'll collect for sure. The Pagani Zonda R. Last year's version was cool. It's going to be in Speed Machines with the metal base. There it is. White with yellow is cool. I don't know if I like this one or last year's better, but they're both nice. And who cares? Because I'll have both in the collection. They put a lot of deco on this, like right on the sides, top, spoiler. Really, really well done. Really dig that one. And then finally... Didn't know the, notice this when I did the C-Case unboxing, but this is the regular treasure hunt. There's the symbol right there. There it is. It's on the side. There it is. All right. On both sides. I wasn't even looking right. There you go. You guys tell me what you think. I like the concept. We'll do a D-Case um, unboxing later. This video went much longer because I was talking about that stuff than I wanted it to be. But we've seen these models too. And uh, let's watch. Let's... You know, let's, if you buy one of these cases and you see a repeat, let me know. I will definitely pass it on to Mattel and I'm going to tell them about what I found. And they might say, Ooh, that's our bad. We just did it while we were look, inspecting these boxes. We may have put them back wrong and that can happen. Thanks everybody. Bye.